this is another video on supporting action and in this case we are going to talk about funding so if we go to supporting tools and their governance we have project success which we covered in another video and we have funding now i have to warn everybody this is a simplified version uh still so we have not really rebuilt this yet however it, it has good information that people can use at this time uh, the idea is that we can do revised funding and in initial funding. This is something that we are considering for the future. For now, we have two categories here. We call advanced funding and final funding. For most projects, we only need final funding. Which typically for our typical medium to large project happen at stage gate five. In a small, simple project, it might be gate three or four. In micro project, it might be gate two. Uh, so they're different depend on the life cycle of the project. They need to be final funding, which meaning the final approval of the project uh, that basically uh, that is a separation point between the development or the, the front end of the project, you know, discovery and development stages and the delivery phase of the project where we actually implement the work. Usually those front end, the early stages, even on large capital project, the cost and uh, is typically small one two three five percent of the total project cost and since most of the cost is actually in delivery uh, so usually at that point at the end of the front end we have a final approval that establish include obtaining the necessary funding approval to proceed into the implementation part of the project so that is final funding and that is uh, uh, basically you will have a form that uh, basically you can attach a document, you can add information block. Uh, at this stage, it's quite simple. There's not much things to do here. Now on some project, especially in the capital project industry, we have something called advanced funding. Uh, typically what's happening, just to give you some background, uh, as the, going through the front end the discovery phase, uh, uh, feasibility, initial requirement, most of those are typically covered by what they call operating costs. And some company depend on the financial rule, they might establish a temporary account because the project is not fully funded yet. Usually once it's fully funded, it might, you know, financial control might create their own code of account specific for that project in order to treat it for the, for the taxation, capitalization purposes, asset management of the financial asset of the company. So there are many financial rules about that. Uh, however, early on, they usually, it, uh, when the project is not fully funded yet, uh, then they are, uh, we are spending money, but that typically there is some financial control system will put a limitation on how much money you can spend. However, in capital project, when you go beyond the project management plan, um, where, and you might not need to do what we call the feed front-end engineering design or preliminary engineering or project definition or detailed planning, whatever you might want to call it, that might be outsourced and that might start to cost a lot of money. Also, on some projects, there may be some equipment that takes a long time to procure and deliver. So we might not be able to wait until we have engineering design it and build it in order to deliver. It will delay the project too long. We call these long lead item. So sometimes we might want to place orders on those early on. Usually we place the order with cancellation in case the project doesn't get approved. You know, we will have to cancel and there will be, some, of course, that's a risk and there will be some losses money. However, you know, organization are weighing that in a fast tracking mo mode that, yeah, we are willing to spend some money right now in order not to be able to deliver the project within a certain time frame. For that, because the cost could go you know, typically instead of have spending one or two percent of the total project budget in the front end, here we might need to start to go up to maybe five percent or even more. So organization and financial control typically require advanced funding. And then we have an advanced funding form. Again, this is a, you know, a small form, basic in the future. It could be completely modified, just entering some information about what's required. I'm not gonna go through the detail of this form, I'm just showing you it exists as an option. Now, in the, in the life cycle and the methodology, we will be putting, remember when we say submit a deliverable? Uh, before, we, when we submit, if there, are, uh, if, if there is a need for an estimate done, to be done, we put a reminder, hey, remember you need to do an estimate or you need to do the schedule 
or you need to get if you need to get advanced funding right uh, so we will put these flags in the system to remind the user that's why we keep saying that the platform it has a lot of guidance in there uh, so even for example if we, nobody remember all this detail on bigger project and quite a comprehensive project uh, we will put we will be putting reminder throughout the life cycle management uh, basically uh, to help and guide the project manager to do the right things uh, so that's obviously uh, uh, this is another process and I will end this video here